All right, just, uh, you know, first off, uh, you know, really proud of our team, you know, coming on the road, um, you know, having to, uh, having to face some adversity, you know, just throughout the course of the week, you know, some guys that, that were unavailable tonight, um, you know, we really took all three phases, you know, we, we, we did a lot of good things, there were some plays and some moments that, that obviously we'd like to have, have back, um, but, you know, I was just really pleased with the response of our team. You know, we wanted to come and start fast, obviously we had a turnover on the very first drive, um, you know, they had, a, they had a big play, you know, um, you know, putting us behind. But, uh, you know, our guys, they had a great attitude, great approach on the sideline. You know, I thought there were some times maybe we were trying to do a little bit too much just, uh, you know, you know, throughout the, the early part of the game. Uh, but uh, but really thought, I mean, our guys, you know, settled in. You know, finished the game on a 24-0 run. Um, you know, defense made big plays, created takeaways. You know, very impactful throughout the contest. Um, I mean, unbelievable on third downs. You know, held them. You know, did not convert a third down. Uh, held them under 100 yards rushing, and then you know, offensively, you know, even minus you know a few of our, our top weapons. You know, to see see guys like Jakai Douglas step up. You know, tight end room. You know, running backs. Uh, you know, obviously Jordan. You know, distributed the ball really well. Uh, you know, had a bunch of big you know big plays, and and uh, you know, I'm just you know, proud of this team. And uh, you know, to see you know, Pitts bounce back. You know, obviously got got. Uh, was able to uh, hit a field goal, so all phases really did a good job. I thought Alex, uh, you was able to flip the field, uh, you know, for us when we had, when we had to punt, and so uh, just proud of proud of the work our guys have put in. Uh, you'd say it was big. Uh, you know, I don't talk about a whole lot of things in, in front, but one thing I did mention to the team is that if we took care of business uh, today, we guaranteed ourselves another opportunity to to, to be together, and for this team and this and this year, and uh, that win, you'll clinch the. Uh, uh, you know, a spot in, in the ACC championship game. Um, you know, really proud of our guys for that. I mean, this is uh, a lot of work that goes into it, and to know that we're going to get another game at the end of the regular season is something that's uh, that's really big. Uh, as we go into this, uh, you know, you're coming off of this game, going to this next week, we know what this week, this that, that ahead, what it means, what it means to, to this team, what it means to our program, to our university, to all things that are that are ahead, and you know, we'll we'll, we'll get back to Tallahassee, and, and you know, we'll. Enjoy tonight, but uh, we're going to be ready to go come tomorrow as we as we prep for for what's ahead to end our ACC uh, uh, schedule. So uh, excited about uh, how we played on the road up to this point. Uh, so, like I said, some things we get to continue to clean up. But uh, you know, I was really proud of our team tonight. Questions for Coach Ira? Uh, Jakai, obviously, two catches I think on the season coming in. You guys. Did Seriously needed help with the receiver core, and he, he stepped up pretty well. Yeah, you know, it was, it was remarkable. I mean, he we played a new position. You know, he was able to do a lot of things. We were down uh, five guys, I think it was, at receiver. And, uh, you know, and, and really, uh, you know, Kentron was able to play a little bit, uh, you know, but he was he was limited most of all the, all the week. And uh, Ja'Kai, Darion, you know, those guys, you know, they, they really took the workman's load. You saw, you know, and Dravis Jacobs got in as a true freshman, made some, made some big plays. Uh, but I, I was so proud of Jakai. You know, anybody that's around him, they know the type of young man that he is. They know that they know the work, that, that just the passion that of what he plays. You know, I mentioned his name multiple times this year. But what's he doing on special teams? I mean, he's remarkable as a, as a gunner tonight. We didn't we didn't have him you know in that phase because we knew he'd have to play a lot of snaps. Uh, but uh, you know, what he I mean, finished up with you know, over 100 yards, uh, six catches. You know, it was just big plays and big moments, and you know that's what we needed. So I'm so very happy for him. You know, he was the one that actually broke the rock, and I didn't have to make the decision. The team, made, the team was already chanting his name whenever uh, we got to the end of it. But that's what that's what this is all about, because guys understand and respect work. And you know, Jakai missed the early part of the season due to injury. We had a couple guys that, that that was the case with, but you know, they're just continuing to to, to work themselves and, and preparing for the moment. Yes. And he got his moment tonight and, and did a great job with it. For, uh, kind of along those lines, what's it say about, I mean, Jordan, I think, had a season high in passing yards tonight without all those guys you mentioned, just Jordan and just the, the, the skill position talent and how versatile those guys can be. You know, you, t you talk about depth, you talk about playmakers, you, know, you, know, you never know when your opportunity is going to come, uh, but you got to be ready for it. And you know, for Jordan to throw for you know, 360 yards tonight, I mean, it was, um, it was, it was pretty remarkable. And, uh, you know, there's some things. You know, obviously that's that's a defense that's gonna they're gonna they're gonna stack the box. They're gonna try to keep things tight on you. We need to be able to loosen it up. 
Um, you know, I was, I was proud of us being able to hit the big run there late with Trey Benson. Um, you know, as, as as they were spacing out a little bit, but uh, you know, it's it's all part of, of what makes this offense go. Is you got to be able to, to be versatile. You've got to, you know, the depth that we have, the talent that we have, you know, on this team. Just you know, a lot of excitement for, for where we are and also where we're going as a program because that competition, uh, you know, that belief and that work ethic is what, what prepares you to, to rise up in moments like that. Yeah. Talk about the guy that Jakai is, you know, in practice you mentioned that when he was, you know, injured and trying to get back in play, you know, you had to hold him off from putting on his shoulder pads and stuff like that. I mean, this being his breakout game of the season, Jeremy, what did it see mean as a, you know, just seeing him as a player? Have yeah, to? no, I mean, it's, a, you know, I love the young man. He's been on this journey. He played as a true freshman, you know, coming in. Um, you know, he's made a lot of big plays. Uh, you know, I still always reference back to, to the first, the first, uh, I said my first year at home against this next opponent. You know, he had the play that kickstarted that last, uh, that last drive. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, when you see you know, who he is, what he's about, you know, I mean, the work ethic, the, the determination, uh, you know, you, you cheer for guys like that. And, you know, his teammates love him, but, you know, he's willing to do the things you know, even without the ball in his hands, he's willing to do the things on the special teams. He's willing to do the things whenever his number's called. Um, and, you know, it's it's really, I, I felt confident that he would show up big. You know, last week, you know, be able to get a couple a couple catches. Uh, this last week kind of built him, you know, and prepared him for what was, was necessary tonight. And, uh, you know, he was he was, he was was confident in the moment. You will go to your right against the wall. Coach Austin, North Florida Sports Network. Um, how is Keon Coleman? He's, he's good. I mean, it's just a... Uh, you know, unfortunate in the last game, there's a, there's a you know an injury that, that kept him out uh, you know, from tonight. But uh, uh, we're very hopeful that he'll be back you know, extremely soon. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, to see how it progresses this week. Uh, you know, Johnny's you know, you know Johnny being out that was some that was something that we're you know, just continuing to progress on pro pro progress on with both those guys. Uh, you know, Ikeem Williams is getting better. You know, Deuce Spans you know, you know continue to work to get better. Like I said, we had a we had a, a, a Laundry list of guys that we're dealing with issues there, um, but you know, at the end of the day, I mean, it's uh, you know, they they're doing everything in their power to get back on the field, but you know, just we're not going to put them out in a position unless they can go out there and play to, to the best of their ability. So, uh, you know, excited to see you know how this next week goes, and uh, we'll see exactly where it is as as we progress towards it. Come with Chris on your left. Getting this team back to the ACC championship game, do you take a moment and appreciate that with that bunch, or is it just on to Miami and focusing on? Uh, I mean, you. You know, you guys have been around me. I mean, I don't, I don't get, I don't ever talk about championships within the, within the season. Um, you know, those games. I mean, we know at the very first first meeting of the year, we talk about what brings us together, and there's a standard of excellence at Florida State, and we we want to be competing for championships every single year. I mean, but but ultimately, like, you know, for us, it's about the process of of, of what we need to do to be the best that we can put ourselves in a position. To be able to get to get that accomplished, and uh, uh, but 100% uh, when you when you get to that point, right? And that's why I told them this week they put themselves in a position that they won today. They got to play one more game together, right? Well, they accomplished that, and so am I proud of it? Absolutely. These guys, uh, I watch them work 365 days a year, and just the, the mindset. I mean, even even when they're off, they're working. I mean, they're doing. I mean, how they take care of bodies, what the uh, what the, the decisions that they make, the sacrifices that, that's necessary to be part of this program. You know, on the field and off the field. I mean, it's you know the, the academic growth that we've seen. The, you know, the, just a, the character of this of this team. It's a team that you should be proud of, and I'm proud of that. And you know, are we a finished product? Absolutely not. If we don't get better next week, then we are then we have failed. Right? Because ultimately, that's what we want to see is that constant growth to be able to go be our best. And, you know, there's uh, – will, will, will it ever be a perfect – no, I mean, I've never seen a perfect game. I mean, obviously, there's plenty of mistakes tonight, but, but if we were able to respond and, and put ourselves in a position to win it, which now allows us an opportunity to uh, to go and play in a championship game here at the end of the year. But we got one game this week, and obviously it's a huge game, and that's going to be 100% of our focus from the minute we get get back and uh, all things you know leading up to next Saturday. Kirk. You, you talked about the early hole. It, it's quite possible it's a 14 nothing hole if not for the play Fentrell made. I don't know what happened on that play, if he was at fault or who was, but I mean you probably you can't respond much better than he did in that moment. Well, absolutely, and that's that's where you get to see identity. And you know, we always talk I mean I'll I will i will try to show our guys, you know, on Fridays, you know, various clips of you know around whether it's an NFL or college where where I did where your effort Right makes the difference, and tonight we saw that. 
and you know I'm not going to get into whose fault and all those things, but when the moment called for it, his effort was a difference maker in that play, and he, he was able to get to him before the goal before the goal line. Uh, obviously, you know, create the fumble. The fumble. Uh, there was a huge play in this game, and uh, you know that's it speaks to, to who he is and what he's all about. But uh, that was a, it was a great play uh, where it just came down to, to want to and will to, to go finish it. All right. We look really small down here. It's kind of weird. <laughs> in, uh, in the first half, the offense was going through some things. The defense just seemed like they kept plugging away. And then late in the game after Benson's touchdown run, I saw a lot of the defensive guys go over to kind of congratulate the offensive line. Just what did you see during? during I love I mean, I guess what makes this team special? It's like there's been times where it's been all, all <laughs> units have had to rely on the other. And, you know, in the first half, we had some challenges offensively where – I mean, I think we had 300 yards offense, but there were some challenges, challenging moments, and we weren't, you know, executing to, to, to finish drives like we wanted to. And uh, but the defense kept plugging. Obviously, we were able to to, uh, to work through it. But then, you know, as you see that, you know, continued growth and, and, and taking that step, that big touchdown run. I mean, you feel this team, and it's it's not just in that moment. It was throughout it. We got we got you, coach. We got you know we got you to the to, uh, you know, offense, defense, special teams. Everybody, everybody's in this together. So. You don't always know what it's going to look like, but you, you've got to be ready to go out there and, and uh, you know, obviously play your best and whatever the circumstances is, respond to it. Okay. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Thanks.